Hello guys and welcome to a brand new vlog. vlog. Did I say you can talk? I am so sorry. My Uber driver right now is acting up a little bit. You drive and we are currently driving. We're on the road. We have like, how long? Uber driver, how long do we have? An hour and 20 minutes. An hour and 20 minutes. We're going to my mom's house. We're spending time in my mom's house this weekend. Well, not in my mom's house, but at our Airbnb. And my kids are watching the iPads in the back. You, all of you guys put the volume down. We're gonna spend some time over there with my family. My stepdad just flew in from where he lives. And after we have to go to a wedding, my Uber driver and I are going to a wedding. So we're gonna be away from home for like a whole week. Say hello. Hi guys. It's our first wedding ever. Yeah. Ever, ever, ever. We've never gone to a wedding before. So ever. that's exciting. We have an hour and a half left. I started getting bored and I was like, you know what? Let's do a haul. What does Bramty have in her bag? What Who do I cares? Have? It's gonna be three old tampons so, and I don't know what else. Three old tampons? <laughs> like used, used ones? Yeah. Ew. So when we were leaving, I literally just threw everything inside. So I have to like organize it and I thought let's organize and let's see, let's show you guys what I have in my purse, what I carry, things that I like, things that I love. So first I have my tote bag. It is from an MCM. I've had this for years. Years. Really sturdy. Like 10 years. Not 10 years. 10 years ago, I was like in high school. I couldn't be able to afford this. We have my little Louis Vuitton pouch. Just a little pouch where I like to keep things inside. Hand sanitizer. Uh, Hand sanitizer is a must. You don't want to get sick, and if you have kids, they touch everything. <laughs> so I'm constantly just like, look, sick, sick. We have this little uh, random container that I put my kids' snacks in here, but before we left, I just popped some of my vitamins in here that I'm taking with me. I have some probiotics, I have collagen, I have vitamin C. Next, we have a pair of sunglasses, some Versace sunglasses. Wow, that's nice. And then we have another pair. These are from Quay Key, however you say. I literally just bought these yesterday. Another pair. These are from MCM. Another pair. I got these in Puerto Rico. Then we have some hand sanitizer wipes. This is plan B if plan A doesn't work. And then we have my wallet. This is a YSL little wallet. It's super cute, super small. And then we have a YSL little, a little tiny little bag where I put random things in here. Let's see what's in here. Nail glue, two hair ties and some tweezers because Lou is be getting some long ass nose hairs, ear hairs. Every, hair is everywhere and every crevice imaginable so I just have to like pluck them you know so I keep those on me then we have another pouch inside have, like, this pouch three pouches inside your purse <laughs> hair ties then in the bottom we have some chapstick and then this is my absolute favorite tinted moisturizer lip tint thing from Colourpop it complements my lips really good. It's not overbearing. It's like a really good natural color. Collodial silver. So right now, my kids have some rashes on them and I do not go to the, well, unless it's a medical emergency. But besides that, everything can be healed naturally. So they got some rashes. I got this at the store and I've been applying it to them and it's going away. It's really good. This literally works for everything imaginable. Cuts, wounds, itching, like everything. I'll have it in my Amazon storefront. We have my old phone. I have this with me, you know, to listen to music, to get old pictures that I needed. If the kids are acting up, I get on my phone. It's just like a backup phone. Another lipstick, this is from Clinique. We have some Louis Vuitton earrings in here that I actually brought for my mom. I'm gonna give these to her. So I just put them in here so I wouldn't forget. Nice. And that is everything that's in my purse. And now I'm gonna organize all of it because yeah, that was the point of this video. To show you and organize. We didn't tell you guys this. So what? Penelope has been at my mom's house for the past week. It was our first time ever leaving Penelope alone because usually when we leave our kids with my mom and we're not there, they're all together when we leave them at my mom's house. But this is the first time we like separated the kids. But Penelope really wanted to stay at my mom's house and get like quality time. So we're like, okay, you can stay. And it's been a week. And it's, it's summer, week. so we're like, we, we told ourselves in the summer we'd let her do things like that because we kept telling her like, yeah, you have school so you can't do it. And then finally like now yes. she asked and we're like, oh, whatever, we'll let her do it. Yes. But as soon as we dropped her off, we felt not horrible, but damn, uh, Rainy. we felt like we felt different, very and different, really sad. Yeah, it was too quiet. All right, well we'll talk to you guys when the rain's over because right now it's pretty loud. Maneja con cuidado, hijo, por favor, por favor, que aquí tienes tres vidas, cuatro vidas. Por favor, maneja con cuidado, y con Dios. Ah, ah, por favor. <coughs> We just got to our rental home. What do you guys see? Yeah, a bunk bed. bed. Oh Three my goodness. Beds. One under here, one here, one here. Three I'm beds. Just, I'm taking the top. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mommy, this is another room. This
this house is so cute. This house smells brand new, like they just remodeled it. This house is so cute. This is the type of house that I would like to live in. Mommy. Call me crazy, but a house that's not huge where you get like overwhelmed cleaning it but a house like this size it has four bedrooms it is perfect the kitchen's nice it's so like beachy it has a like this right here is what i like i feel like over like as years go by i enjoy like the minimal things you know this pool is so cool okay go see if it's cold or hot how is it this is the great temperature i ever saw for real you want to get your bathing suit done Come on. Ma, así, una casa así de ese tamaño me gusta a mí. Has four bedrooms. The, the beautiful is not too big. It's cozy. Sí, ¿verdad? Pregunta. Then we, we thought the same thing. Sí. Isn't this house like a good size? And here is the master. This is nice. It's cute. Look, the patio is right outside. And then let's see the bathroom. This is nice. This is so nice. This is so cute. All right, we're gonna get everything out of the car and the kids are gonna go swimming. We wanna travel so much this year. Like, fun fact, I'll get into it another day, but just like randomly, I'm gonna tell you guys. But we're actually thinking of homeschooling Penelope this year. And we just wanna be able to travel. And when we do travel and we come back, the house, there's just like so much to do. And it's like so big that there's just like too much to do. And then also it pains us that when we're gone for so long, we're still paying mortgage on it when we're not even in it. But a house like this would be such a good like mortgage price and it's, it's you can maintain it. Even when you leave on vacation, like you're coming back and you're not having to do a lot of things. All right guys, moments later, hours later, and I have a good prank that we're about to do. I haven't done a prank in a long time, so we're gonna do a prank. Okay, so it's like 9 p.m. right now and Richard decided to take a nap. He's been sleeping for like three hours now and we're all bored. So we're gonna go ahead and go in his room. Turn can on I the... prank him out too? Yeah, you're gonna prank him too. Listen to the, pr listen to the, pr the plan, okay, ready? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in his room and we're gonna turn the light and go in the room fast. We're gonna be like, Richard, hurry, we have to go, there's a fire. Hurry, it's a fire. We have to pretend the house is on fire. Is that a good prank? There's no fire. But it's a prank, we pretend. In the roof? Yeah, we could just pretend there's a fire like in the kitchen or something. So when you walk in, you have to go like this, look. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, practice. No, I'm saying there's fire. Okay, only, practice right here. Only fire. Okay, you can say it's a fire, but you can't do this, look. It's a fire. No, it's a fire! Okay, ready, action. Is a fire, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, try again, try there, again. There's fire, man? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go out there and pretend I'm, I'm sleeping, okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll sleep, I'll sleep. You, Yeah, I'm sleeping, you run and you come in here. Okay, go, ready, go. Mommy, Daddy! There's fire in the room! For real? What do I do? Call the fireman. Okay. I'm gonna play this. On the speaker, on the speaker, connected to the speaker. Oh, yeah. A spider. Yes. A fire, not a spider. You say, Grandma, up. And you have to be serious, like, baby. Veronica, you have to be like, baby, come on. No, Jeremy's gonna be a part of it. <laughs> yeah, he'll be in shock. You guys go in first because I don't want him to see the camera, so he'll be like behind. You guys in the back. Okay, ready? Yeah, just be, be very serious. Did you believe us for a second? For like one second? I hear smiling the whole time. Who? Oh Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> Veronica put water in her eyes. She's like, my Marine has to believe me. We're gonna do the prank again. This is the way it should have gone.
gonna go to the gas station to buy some lotto tickets I guess there's like a lot of money I have no idea how much but all I know is that wait hold on all I know is that everybody is telling me that there's a huge amount of money for this lotto so right now it's currently 955 and they draw the numbers at 11 so you still have time to like get it so we're all gonna go we're literally taking two cars everybody's going there's a lot of money we're gonna get some lotto tickets I'm a manifest when I win the lotto I won the lotto when I win the lotto, I'm gonna get the numbers and I won. I would start a charity organization to help kids that are SCX trafficked. Um, and I would just do a lot of really cool things. What would you do when you win the lotto? When I win the lotto? Oh, you're here, Veronica? Yeah. So you heard me saying all that? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were, I didn't know you were here. Unfortunately, we got there a minute late, so we weren't able to get the tickets for the one we wanted to play. So instead we got different ones and they draw those numbers on our anniversary actually, which is on the 18th. So in three days. So I don't know. That isn't a sign. That's a sign right there, dude. I don't know, man. And we'll buy more on the day of. I'll do like a meet and greet. And if you come into my meet and greet, like you'll walk out with like $10,000 cash. I would do that. That would be fire. That would be fire. Good morning, guys. And welcome to a brand new vlog. So we're about to go out and get some breakfast. And right next to where we're going to eat is a Chuck E. Cheese. So the kids came up with this plan that they're going to ask Grandpa and Mimi if they can take them to Chuck E. Cheese afterwards. Because like... Lewis and I for Chuck E. Cheese, like we're burnt out. Like, nah. we're, it's it's not our thing anymore. In the very beginning, it was, but now we're just like, eh. So each yeah. of the kids is gonna practice right now for you guys. I'm Mimi. That's Grandpa, and they're gonna practice asking. And action. Please, Grandpa, take us to Chuck E. Cheese. We're just some, we're just some lo lonely bored kids. Please, uh, uh, uh. please, Grandpa, can we please go to Chuck E. Cheese? We love you so much. Please, Mimi. Grandpa, we're the slow kids. Mimi, Grandpa, can you please take us to Chuck E. Cheese? Please, Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, hell no. <laughs> what? Huh? Take us to Chuck E. Cheese. Don't forget the part about you're just lonely kids. It's, it's so far away. I mean, it's, it's very fast. It's so far away. I mean, I don't know. What? what? Huh? It's, it's like like one street away. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's actually just two doors down. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, my response is we all going to Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah! Yeah! Oh. Bye, guys. Have fun. What the? What? What the heck? You really were last year. like. Volunteered them. I what? You volunteered them. I volunteered them like what's that? Military they, thing. It's like you were like you volunteered them, but you told them to they do it. Them. No, they told me they wanted to go, and I was like, okay, ask after. They wanted to go already. That was pretty, that was pretty sneaky. How was that sneaky? No, maybe that was a little sneaky, baby. How? Sorry, I can't trust you. Hey, but now we're kid free. Now we can get our toys. Now we can go, go get, get pedicures. And we'll go but I think we should go to Marshalls first. Okay, I'm done. Yeah. We have three cars, so we don't have to go with you. I just think it'd be a great idea. Wait, hold on, the lighting's bad. Sorry. I think it's a great idea. Wait, hold on, the lighting's adjusting. It's a great idea. <laughs> Wait, hold on, and oh action. I believe it's a great idea that you're asking, hey, let's do our girl stuff, which is fine, but I think it'll be better so you guys cannot be on edge like you said. Yeah, we'll be on edge. Take like, off your tracking. Like, on yeah, your no location sharing. What? No location, just take it off. Wait, what? No, you're not, like, how, you're not on edge. How is that going to benefit us? It will help out tremendously, trust me. You guys are going to be like sitting down, <laughs> just relax, your phone, relax. Taking where you're at. If you turn it off, it'll be like, <laughs> so I, think, I think we should do that. Yeah, then we go do our own thing, and then yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna go to hang out with with the cigar lounge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Veronica, after we get our toes done, since we'll have fresh pedicures, we should get some like cute short dresses with cleavage. So and go, there's this really cute like girls club. Okay. That we can go to. When you go to the salon, make sure they have sandpaper for her feet. Sandpaper? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, there's a little dog store here. This is where we actually got Junie years ago. Well, two years ago. Less than two years ago, because she's about to turn two. Well, guys, look at this doggy. It's a schnauzer. It's a schnauzer. Yes, it is. And why am I, like, tempted to buy another dog, even though we already have two? That's how they get us. That's how you guys get us. We fall in love, and then we want to take you home. Yes, we do. Love that you. one's a girl, and this one's a boy. Wait, They're both more? schnauzers. <laughs> Babe, would it be crazy if I got a dog? Another one? Yeah, that would be crazy as hell. But I want a tiny, you know what I really want? A chihuahua. Yeah, no, I don't want a chihuahua. I want a dog that's tiny that I can just like put in my purse and just hold like this. Can we so, get another one? No, no. Can we get another one? No. How, how, when did the whole schnauzer thing in the family start? I think because we, I got, think you started we got Judy first yeah. and then you guys got NASA and yeah. then we got another Giant schnauzer. schnauzer. The family's all clapping because... 
What, what are you guys doing? Wait, 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 wait. Bro, they're clapping because Brampty. I didn't have any help at all. I just I saw you game planning with her. No, she was just telling me good luck. Get good so luck. Now I am going to make my man a taco. He ate some already, and then I offered if he wanted to eat some, and he said yes. So now I'm gonna do it by myself with no help at all. Oh <laughs> You got this. No, listen, listen, let me say something. Okay, yes. I cooked this meal. You're just serving it and you couldn't even do that. You have to ask Veronica for help. I did, did I ask you for help, Veronica? No, you didn't. Don't lie, I heard you. I didn't hype you up. She was just saying good luck to me. Do your job, do your job. Right. You might laugh. First, we get some tacos. <laughs> She's stressed already. She's already stressed. Wait, There's I no have meat to in cut there. It. I have to cut it? There's no meat in there. And then we get some meat. That just shows that she doesn't know what the hell she's doing. No, she knows she's not. She's she's not okay. I, now I know. I'm a caged woman. Wow. She went to Chile. She went to Chile. You changed your life. Wow. Wow. And then we come over here. Okay, let's see what you're going to put on it. Let's and see. She said, I mean, I said this. Oh. 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 And then, um. What? The salsa. What? The salsa. Oh We're going to add a good little. Mm. Not too much because I don't think my man likes that much. Why is she overlooking like in like? And then her, and then lettuce. Oh, lettuce. Oh, big ass pieces of lettuce, bro. Like, oh, we cut them. Original part. And then this for a little. What's that? Um, cilantro. Oh, okay. And then and then to finish it off, love. Oh. <laughs> Come on.